now in this part you can know that in go to page 2 i have written the page the that page address here like page2.html if i want to go to the google.com here i will add the google address like https www.google.com let me add one break here okay you can see in the syntax i have added first one is the go to page 2 and second one is go to google.com here go to google.com is showing if i click it here you can see that i am opening the google site but now the question is suppose you are inside the page and if i click it here you want to open this page in new tab okay then how you can do that all the time when we click on any of the link that link is open in that same page like if i go to page 2 or if i go to google.com anywhere i have opening that same site inside the same window but that is a requirement when you want to go if i click on google.com i want to open this site in new tab now how we can achieve that to achieve that in anchor tag we have another attribute as i told attribute is extra information about the tag you have to remember each and every tag attribute and i will tell you what are the basic attribute you have to remember for a tag okay <clears throat> first first one is href you already got it href stand for hyper reference next one is target target means where you want to open this link if i return the target as blank and save it if i refresh site you can see if i click this one you can see that my google site is open in new tab got it if i click on this google.com I have the same page here but the google.com open in new tab means if you want to open any of the link any of the like whatever the link you provided in the href in different tab then you have to use the target equal to blank target equal to blank but this is not only the tag there is another tag called self just a second let me add the same concept called self self means it is going to open the same page I click on just a second uh, go to google.com new tab and same tab okay if I click on this one it's opening the new tab if you click on this one it's opening the same tag then you will ask why i required this uh, self one by default if you don't specify any target to a link it is by default called self got it if you define or don't define it's up to A you self means if, it will open in the same uh, uh yes tab. Same, only same page like if i click on this link you can see that it's opening on the same window it's not opening in the new window okay if yes. i mark as blank means it will open in a new tab if i click on here you can see that it's opening a new tab if you don't specify the target then what will happen it will treat as a self you clear all are yes what is the use exactly. of target and what is the use of href means if you want to add any kind of a navigation to your web page like how it's designed right if i right click and go i'll go over inspect if you see that every process is requiring anchor tag okay the same way in your page if you are going to add any kind of a link which is used to navigate from one page to another page or that page to another page you need this anchor tag okay anchor tag contain two basic attribute 
one is href another one is target okay let me write that one here <clears throat> the in anchor tag we have it, uh, like uh, one attribute is href which stand for link to the page another one is target target is how you want to open the link okay got it means using this target you will define how your link is going to open it going to open the same page it's going to open in a new page it's up to you okay you got it one is href one is target why i am telling all these things because when we are going to develop any kind of site as i told yesterday it may be flipkart it may be amazon anything you will choose in that case you already know that we have a different different navigation like if i open the amazon you can see that right here we have a different different kind of links how you can go if i click on this link how it will go to that page if i click on this link how it will go to that page that is a basic concept navigating from one page to another page for that we require the concept of link or we can call it a anchor tag there is another called parent that i will explain in later i will remember that one there is another called parent that parent is used in frame. that i will discuss when we are going for the iframe chapter okay but as of now today you have to know that there is a two basic basic target is there one is self another one is blank self is the default one if you specify or don't specify it will work as a self self means it will going to open the same page same page means it's not going to uh, open in a new tab okay if yes it has a blank then it will go to open in a new tab okay <clears throat> let's go and and i will show you another attribute the basic attribute of a any any of the tag suppose if i navigate this uh, uh, this link you want to show some kind of information about this link okay now the question how you can do that I, i'll explain this one if a mouse over this one you want to show more of more information about the like click here to go this and this page means in a tag if you want to add any kind of other information apart from this text whatever you mention here how you can achieve that means if i mouse over this page you want to uh, you want to show a message to a user click here to click here to login or click here to something like 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 that one only just example <clears throat> let me create one tag and i'll add here sign up and i'll add the tag called title equal to click here to sign up okay i'll show you that one what is actually you can see that the sign up link is coming if a mouse over you can see the small pop up is coming here click here to sign up okay means in a link if you want to add any additional information to a user you need to add the tag call the attribute called title title means it will enable the user to display the information about that tag you can see that if i click on sign up it's showing click here to sign up in the same application and in that application you want to uh, show that user like click here to log in click here to download like you are you, you are going to show that one right if you navigate any of the page it's showing that click here to download if you mouse over it's showing something the same way in a anchor tag if you want to if you want to display additional information to the user you need the help of title tag you can achieve that okay like if a mouse over sign up it's saying click here to sign up okay this is a this is a only one of the additional at, attribute if you want to specify don't specify it, it's not matter but it helps to notify the user what this links belongs to okay this is totally optional you have to if you add it's okay if you don't add it that, that should be okay but title you have to add that what is the use of this link then in actual what we learn we learn the basic attribute one is href which is used to link from one page to another page target 
how we are going to obtain this target from same page or different page and later we will learn the title title is display okay we have three basic attribute inside a link tag or in anchor tag one is href as i told it used to link from one page to another page target one it's used to how we are going to open this link title tag display information about the link as i explained here if i mouse over there people should note that what is the use of this specific link got it this now we already cover how we can navigate from one page to another page using anchor next goes to image like all the time you are not going to add the text into your site right sometimes you are going to add this kind of image in your site or this kind of image in your site now the question how we are how we can add this image in our web page okay let me save this image and let me add suppose uh, image dot I, I, I have stored this image here okay now we will write a we will create a page that page is going to display this image in our site okay for that let me create a new page <clears throat> for each and every uh, topic I, I am going to create a new new page and I will share this one with you okay let me open this notepad and you know this is our basic structure of a head title body all these things in link let me add image and store it here image dot html and i'll add it here image and i have image uh, page if i open this one i opening the image now the question is how we can add whatever image we have downloaded right this image we have downloaded and displaying that image in a page as we are displaying here okay let me go that image means let me write the definition of image image is used to display any kind of picture or any kind of uh, like your media into our website okay the same way if you want to any kind of media or any kind of image in your website you have to use the tag called img because you as, you, as i told everything you want to display you have to use the tag tag concept less than greater than okay tag. means using this image tag you can do the you can you can add the image into your website okay let me create the add the image tag here i'll add img img start for image then as i told each and every tag contain their own attribute like anchored contain href and title the same way image contain their own attribute okay the adding an image to a image tag we have attribute called src i will explain what is src src its content src contain the path of the image our path is because due to our file is inside the same let me rename to suppose about if i go and right click this this uh, image you can see that the extension is dot jpg and you have to remember that whenever you adding any kind of image to your image tag you have to specify the file name as well as the extension suppose you are adding one png image or you, you are adding one bitmap image or you are adding an spg image that will go later for each and every image that contain their own different different kind of extension as like this image contain their extension is dot jpg what will explain what will add in the syntax the image src equal to about dot jpg okay, let me save it and refresh you can see that we can able to see the image here you got it if i go and if i 
suppose about means the the name of this image about the extension is dot jpg you have to add the jpg okay you got it what is the use of src src means stands for source okay image tag src tag equal to call as source source means it it is your local source or it may be your external source i will explain all these things source means you where the image should render means what is the path for that source let me explain this one in 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 our uh, in paint this image tag is stands for image to add image we need the image tag src and jpg is stands for the source src means source source means the path means this one the path name the, this was the path name this may be your uh, fixed path name it may be your external path name any path name you will add it here it's going to display that image like in your project this image contain the same path right image and about suppose i want to create one folder called suppose uh, images inside that i move this about image okay means now my path is inside images my image my uh, images contain inside that for that what i'll do i'll go it here i'll write the same way images slash about means this Im this folder this images folder contain about image the same way i'll add images folder then you already know that this is the this is the path slash if you go multiple path will add the different different slash path images slash about dot jpg right this images contain image dot jpg if i save it and go and refresh it here you can be able to see the images okay this what we learn it here this src is stands for source and this value this about dot jpg is, is the actually the path of the image okay now we will learn how we can add the external image to this image external image means suppose i just want to use this image now this is inside this new technology right i want to use this image in inside our page how can do that okay as of now let me remove this one okay. <clears throat> let me add instead of our local local means it's your local right it's your own system files instead of specify your local image let me add the external images external images means in slow technologies we have a, this image how we can add this image into into our page okay let me right click here if you go, you can see it here is the concept called copy image address okay if you open any i think all people already know that how download an image if you go any of the image and right click that image you can see that that is a menu called copy image address if a copy image address and let me paste it here you can see that this is the path of image hence the serum technology is assets img mission.jpg if you go and add the same path inside this src and save it and refresh you can able to see that image here okay the size i will discuss how you can go to maintain the size but you can see that this is the image what we learn we learn that in two examples how you can add your local image this is your local image this is your external image means in src is the only tag where you can add your both local as well as your external okay you can add any external images in your site now you will ask me i want to reduce the size because the size is displaying very large how you can like how you can specify the size of a image if you don't specify any size of the image then what will happen whatever the image size automatically the image will getting that size means if i right click here you can see that 
the size of this image is 192 to 700 pixel right if i don't specify any of this size then whatever the original size of that image is going to display and if you want to restrict the size of the image then you have to use the tag called let me remove this one as of now we have a attribute called width and height okay width means what is the width of the image height means what is the height of the image let me explain width means let me define suppose uh, 200 the width and height is 200 save it refresh you can see that the image is squeezed to this much means i have specified the width is 200 and height is 200 if i increase to the 400 and it will be 400 and save it refresh you can see that i can able to see the image okay this is how we can specify the width and height of the image okay this width and height in pixel that pixel i will actually that pixel and all these things i will explain all these things in css but you have to know that this by default width is creating the px that will like i will explain all the units of a size but you have to know that how to specify the width and height of a image okay then we will learn how we can automatically uh, like uh, define the size it will go into responsive based on the your page it's going to fit to that that all will learn but today just learn that how you can add a width and height of a image okay okay this is the gif image right sure. let me copy the address and instead of this one i'll add this path here and remove the width and height as of now let me save and press you can see that src will accept anything you you have to only provide the image path it may be jeep it may be jpg it may be png based on your file uh, extension it's going to work that way okay. okay yes sir sir is it a good practice to keep the src as external or internal what is good practice no no no, no. just imagine all the time you cannot add the, your image like the src as external because uh, because how you, suppose you are using this so just you are using this one okay and this side remove this one what will happen now someone opening your site then they cannot able to see the images right yes, it always comes it's always be recommendation like you have to use your own local images not the external means external means if that is not suppose some copyright issue or something like that you can use that images but you have to try that all the time you have to use your local images because you have own right on local images right you can change you can modify at, at any kind of time but if yes, you're using sir. any external resources if this site go, going to delete this one then your site is not going to display these images so at time if it so is not you. available then our website will not load right yes that's the problem if you don't display yes. like suppose someone change this one if i remove this one and save it path is got changed right it's not going to display anything it's going to display the broken images what we learn here what we learn about src tag then we learn height and suppose width and height width and height now you can see that suppose i am adding these images in this link and specify the width as 400 and hide that 400 let me save it if i refresh you can see that i am able to see the image just example what happened suppose srinu uh, technology site this image got missed or by any chance you uh, misspelled these images like suppose instead of images i have added, added images okay if i save it if i refresh you can see that this 400 coming but this image displaying the broken images here right now there is a question if in the in some of the time if the src is not available what you are going to display the user means sometimes this suppose this address is not valid or sometimes the file is missing or the src is missing 
that time if you want to show other text instead of src to the user then you have to use a tag called alt alt means is alternative when this src is not available that time is alt going to display let me add this one suppose this is mission image refresh it and save it you can see that it is displaying sorry missing image sorry means when your src is not going to load means sometime src path is invalid or this src is got deleted or anything this is not going to load and you want to display the user as alternate text you will ask why alternate text is required means if you are displaying images here the people should know that what is this images used for i have written here alt equal to mission images means i have used this image for mission this is just a additional tag you have to add for images sometimes if src is missing or src is not working that time this all tag is going to render as a text you clear right this is just if if my image is okay if i save it and refresh you can see that i am not able to see that text this on images right if my images is getting broken and if i refresh it instead of loading this broken image as side as it displaying some alternate text that why this images is used you can add anything here you can add your name your uses anything you will add it here but the only thing is in image tag if you are if the src is missing or not found or anything will happen that time all tag is going to display as a text aside to the image okay this is totally optional but it's better practiced all the time you have to use this all tag in image there is a two basic tag in image one is src another one is alt okay this is the basic things then what we learn in image in image we learn the src tag which is used for source it may be internal or external external yeah another one is alt alt stand for alternative it will be display text when src is missing this is the two tag you have to remember in link how you are remembering this href and target tag in image you have to remember this two tag basic one is two attribute one is src another one is alt src stands for source where you have to add your image path in your site and then alt means when this images is not available that time this alternate is going to display okay. clear right then what we discuss today we discuss about how we can navigate from one page to another page then we discuss how we can go from <clears throat> how we can add image to your site next one will go for table table i'll co i will cover tomorrow because table is a, uh, it will take much more time today let me go for list Your table will take whole day because this is a very big chapter which is a basic concept of it how to you are going to add table all these things have to add. Okay. what is list let me explain you list let me create one new uh, uh, file Sorry, i'll add the title as the list we remove this one. Let me close all these things. Okay. Now I'll ask what is the list. I'll show you one list example. Just a second. It may be here or not.
just a second guys all right what is list sometimes suppose when you are writing any like uh, kind of um, in your project like suppose you're opening on one microsoft word and there are your writings like list right in point one this point like one suppose about uh, suppose about and two suppose contact etc if i save it and refresh you can see that one and two displaying right this way but this is not the way you have to write the list item means suppose in your uh, word suppose you opening and you are adding the bullet points like point one this point two this point three this how you can do that kind of bullet menu 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 we can no 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 that will explain just a second i'll open okay here you can see if i click at here like name address phone number sorry you can see that i can able to add the all this one two three four bullet points right the same way when you're adding a uh, when you are doing any kind of like in document you want to do all these things this is the we are using this bullet point okay numbering your list suppose you want to do the same kind of stuff in html the list concept okay this is called list to do the list we have to use some certain tag in html like and right i'll explain all these things You can see that if you have to display in a site in the list format we have to use the concept of list okay I, I will explain each and everyone will go that you can see that if I added this tag it's automatically displaying me one two three order list means one two three if I going to add any kind of list is going to display in a numeric bullet point format in HTML if you are going to add this kind of list in your page in your website then you have to add this kind of syntax let me explain all these things ol stands for order list ol for order list ol stands for order list li stands for list item means if you want to go to display the data in list format then you have to add this ol and li ol is a tag inside that you have to add the list tag okay if you want any any kind of list it's going to add automatically one two three four you're going to add all these things this is going to help you to write this kind of list in your html okay tomorrow class i will explain all about other what is the other uh, suppose you want to instead of one two three four you want to display suppose um, a b c d you want to display how you can going to display that one and suppose instead of that you want to display the roman character i double i triple i iv all these things how you can display that one all these things i will going to explain tomorrow but in in today's class you just know that what is the what is a list and a use of list list means you want to just display the data in ordering format okay